Hi everyone, this is a tutorial on how to update your profile or publish your profile for the first time to the enhancedyouradvisorguide.com. So visit the American College EDU, look up into the secondary nav and click on login. And this is where you will enter your username and password for my learning cup. All right, once you are in my learning hub, this test account is Susan. Hello, Susan. She is a CHSNC with a specialty in special needs. She's an independent financial advisor and a proud designee in good standing of the college. So once you log into my learning hub, you will go up into this tab uh, that says my account and click on my profile. Under my profile, you will see several different tabs. The first tab to the left has personal information, like basic information about yourself, your date of birth, your gender, your social security number, demographic information, and contact information. It's important that this contact information is what you want to show up on your advisor guide. So before you go into the your advisor guide specific information on its own, make sure that this information is accurate for what you want to show up on the public profile of youradvisorguide.com. You will get another chance to look at that uh, if you wanna make a change. To update your information on your advisor guide, you will go to the second tab under personal information. And you will see the second box over here in this first row is your advisor guide information. It gives you a little bit of insight into youradvisorguide.com. And any client facing designee from the college can create a public profile on your advisor guide, showcasing your latest accomplishments, helping pr prospective clients search for an advisor in their area to get in touch with you. Please note, and this is really important, that updating these fields will update information contained in your Your Advisor Guide profile, as well as your student records with the college. So you'll wanna hit this edit button. And the first thing to make sure is that you're showing your profile on your advisor guide. Some firms or even some advisors do not want their profile or their advisor's profiles showing up on your advisor guide. So make sure to check with your home office first, but if it's allowed and you desire to use your advisor guide as a lead generation tool, you wanna say, yes, show my profile on your advisor guide. And then the rest of the questions come up. The first thing you wanna do is upload a profile photo. Files must be less than six megabytes and you can upload in JPEG or PNG. And I will show you really quickly that this is what a photo will look like on youradvisorguide.com once uploaded. The new version headshots show up in the circle format. So that will give you some idea of the type of headshot you want to upload. So you'll upload your profile picture and then you will update the fields some are mandatory fields, others are optional fields below. The more fields you fill out, the more robust uh, your, your advisor guide profile will be. As you can see, the first three fields, phone number, business address, and business email come from this contact information section within the personal information tab. That's what I talked about in the beginning. If you forgot to change that, you can click on this handy link here and it will take you back to update uh, your contact information within the personal information section. If you have several phone numbers, you can toggle between personal or business, but again, you can't change your business address or business email within here. It needs to be changed in the contact information section. You can put in your company website, the URL to your company Facebook profile, your personal LinkedIn profile, and this about me section is the secret sauce. You have 500 characters to position yourself and your firm to prospective clients. What types of clients you work with, what sort of specializations you have yourself and within your firm, how embedded you are in your community, uh, what type of planning process your firm goes through, what onboarding may look like, anything and everything can go into this about me section as long as it stays at 500 characters or less. The next two questions are part of the sorting quiz on the new youradvisorguide.com. So they are mandatory. You have to let us know the minimum assets under management within your firm, anything from less than 50,000 to 2 million plus, and the minimum household income level, less than 50,000 all the way to 350,000 plus. 
Also, it's helpful for those searching for an advisor that may desire to speak to an advisor that speaks certain languages to select here what languages you speak. So once all of this information is filled out, you would hit save and your profile changes would be reflected within 24 hours. It could happen sooner, but it may take up to 24 hours for changes to occur. It's that simple. Upload your profile picture, fill out the optional and mandatory questions. Remember, the more you fill out, the more robust your profile will be. And make sure you are saying that you want to show your profile on youradvisorguide.com. Thanks so much for listening and watching today. Uh, if you have any questions about how to update your Your Advisor Guide profile, please reach out to the student experience team here at the American College of Financial Services. And thank you so much for being a proud designee in good standing of the college. We're really excited about the enhancedyouradvisorguide.com and even more excited about the public awareness and engagement campaign. The first time the college will run a public awareness and engagement campaign in our history that will roll out this fall, driving more interested prospects, potential clients in need of advisory services to youradvisorguide.com to search for a college-educated financial professional. Expand your opportunities at theamericancollege.edu.